Welcome back to the channel, my beautiful, gorgeous angels. Oh my God. Dude, there's a cop. There's a cop. Oh no, 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 no. Is he going to turn around and freaking pull me over? I don't know. I didn't see him. Another one. What is going on? What is going on? Anyways, oh my goodness. I miss you so much. I know I haven't posted in two weeks. And girl, times are tough. Times are not tough, actually. Times are great. You guys already know by now what happened, what's going on. I've honestly just been, like, moving my stuff. Um, I've been moving my stuff, spending a lot of time doing that. Getting everything organized, getting my life in check, you know. And my mom literally like decorated my whole room for me and she's like she helped me so much I've just been doing me you know I, I kind of was struggling a little bit in the beginning so the breakup happened two weeks ago if you don't know what I'm talking about me and my man broke up so it's kind of like a huge thing to happen you know so it's definitely like my personality now I'm just kidding but you know that's what's going on and I just want to keep it real with you guys so it happened two weeks ago now and in the beginning I was just all over the place you know like my stuff and everything was just everywhere and I didn't didn't know what I was doing like I didn't know if I made the right decision or not so that's why I didn't really post I just like didn't have any motivation or energy and I also hate being like out of routine so I feel like now I'm slowly starting to get back into routine I have my room that's set up you know I'm up to date with my emails my brand deal videos and my TikTok videos so I'm like really you know I I'm super up to date with everything which I'm really proud of because I thought everything was just gonna fall apart um, and guess who's been going to the gym your girl has been going to the gym I know what oh my god I was literally I was literally thinking today I was like um, I haven't consistently gone to the gym since junior high and that was like eight years ago eight years ago I think right like when you're in junior high, you're like 15 years old, right? I don't even know, but it was a long time ago and I used to go to the gym every single day. I, and like, it was so bad to the point where I would like go to the gym every single day after school and then I would spend hours there. Like from, school ended at 3.30, right? I would spend like from 4 p.m. till 9 p.m. at the gym every single day. And I know you're not supposed to do that, but I didn't know that, I didn't care. I was like, I need to go every day, so. That was the last time I was ever consistent with the gym. Um, also, don't mind my hair. My mom braided it for me last night, and I obviously I slept on it, so I don't want to take it out just yet, but we are on the way to the gym again. Yesterday, um, yesterday I did legs, so yeah, my legs are actually kind of sore. I was like, oh, I have not felt this feeling in so long, you guys. I'm actually so weak, like I can't even open doors or anything. So today we're gonna work out the arms and I'm gonna do a little bit of back too. Did I miss the turn? No, sorry, I didn't miss the turn, it's right there. Um, but yeah, so, oh my god, okay, after the gym, we're gonna come home, I need to get ready, and guess what? I'm taking my mom to the movies today, first of all, and we're gonna go watch the new Little Mermaid movie? Are you kidding me, you guys? Yesterday? <gasps> no! Yesterday I was like listening to um, the Little Mermaid songs and I was just bawling my eyes out because I'm so excited to watch the movie. You guys have no idea. Like I love Disney so much. I could throw up like so much, so much, so much. So I'm going to take my mom to the VIP movie theater and she's never been there before. She has no idea that like at this specific movie theater they like... It, they serve you food like you're at a restaurant first of all and they have giant seats and they have heated and cooled seats too and oh my god it's just like a different experience once you start going to the VIP theater you really just can't stop and she has no idea that like that's a thing so I'm so excited to take her and we're going today after the gym I have my little mermaid shirt that I bought yesterday oh my god this is bumpy isn't it 
I have my Little Mermaid shirt that I bought yesterday and oh my god, this is like so shaky. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do like super dramatic purple makeup. That's enough rambling. You guys are kind of like updated a little bit. Um, we got my gym bag and look, look at my new water bottle. How cute is it? Anyways, um, I'm gonna go inside now and I might bring you with me. I'm kind of scared. is all done I'm definitely not sweating I really should have like put in more work but I really didn't so I think like for next time when I go to the gym I need to look up workouts because honestly I don't even know what I'm doing I need to have a list of what I need to do at the gym every single time because I'm always like um what do I do now and how many do I do I don't know but anyways we still did it we still went to the gym and that's all that matters that's all that counts and now I'm trying to eat my freaking protein bar, but I don't know. This one is just not good. I've been eating the Bloom protein bars, but I don't really like this raspberry cheesecake one. I think it's too sweet for me. My favorite one was the peanut butter one. That one was so delicious. And the cookies and cream, that was so good too. Anyways, I'm going home now, and I'm going to start getting ready. It is 3.22 p.m. The movie is at 6.15, and I want to get there by 6.00. So I'm just like gonna go get ready right away. All I can think about is food right now though, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna do like purple makeup and then my hair is gonna be all wavy and it's gonna be perfect and I'm gonna bring you guys with me to the movie theater so you can see how cool the movie theater is. Anyways, I will see you shortly. Welcome back angels. I just finished getting ready. Do we like, wait, <laughs> hold on. What do we think? about the makeup. I think it looks so cute. Please excuse the mess, but this is what I'm wearing. I got my Little Mermaid shirt and some purple shorts that I wore earlier, but that's fine. Anyways, I am so excited. Sorry, I'm still obsessing over this look. Like the Fenty Beauty highlight, the eyeshadow, the crystals, the blush, everything is snatched. I killed it. I really did. We're here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I said I should bring the out on just to your right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Yes. I'm so excited. <laughs> keep going, keep going. To the left, right here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's cool, right? Extremely weird things for our world. <laughs> So many good Three options. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, truffle fries for we sure. We just ordered I've never seen that one. 
cute! <laughs> wow! Do you need to go to the washroom? Hey. Right here. Wow! That was such a good movie. Oh my gosh. I'm shook. I need to see if they have any merch. That was such a good movie. Did you like the movie, Mom? I love the movie. Go watch it. <laughs> what would you rate so it out of 10? 10. 10? 10 out of 10. And look at this, how cute is everything. We got a little bar. We gotta see if there's any merch. I don't think so. I don't even think merch is like a thing anymore. Yeah, we got Mona. Where? I don't know. Oh. No merch. That's so sad. Not even like a cup or anything. How cute is this? Oh my god, mom, will you take a picture of me? <laughs> that was so fun. Where are we going now? Are we going home now? I don't know, but... That was the best movie that I have ever seen. The best remake, the best live action, the best everything. I wanted to throw up and cry every like two seconds, but I didn't, so yeah. <laughs> hey, you're gonna be just fine. I just wanted to bring you some comfort and remind you that this is not something that you cannot handle. I want you to have faith that there is also always a silver lining, and even if it doesn't make sense right now, it's going to make sense eventually. And maybe this is just a bad day or a bad week, but that's okay. It doesn't mean that this is a bad life. I also want to remind you that the thoughts that you fill your head and the things that you tell yourself are so much more important than you think. Replace those thoughts with encouragement and love for yourself. Remind yourself that you are so strong and capable and you can get through this and it's gonna be okay. And there's a light at the end of the tunnel because it's true. Try to find things that you're grateful for because the minute you fill your heart with gratitude, all of, there's no room for any of that garbage. I love you and you got this. You're gonna be okay. One of you beautiful angels just tagged me in this video and that's so sweet. Like the amount of love that I've received on that video that I posted about the breakup is unreal. I was not expecting that whatsoever and you guys are so cute. Like I'm so overwhelmed by all the comments and everything and it's just crazy to have such a strong like support system. It's so crazy to me. I never even imagined that at all. I didn't think that so many people were like going through the same thing too like i didn't expect that at all i thought i was the only one but turns out we're all literally the same <laughs> we're all the same um but yeah i just wanted to share that with you guys because that's so sweet anyways i'm finally back home now and it is time to get unready while we chit chat a little bit first of all the movie was amazing it's so much better than any of the other ones, like the Cinderella remake, the um, Aladdin remake, all of those. It's so much better than those. Literally, it's the best one. If you want to see a live action Disney classic remake, is that what they're called? Watch The Little Mermaid because everything was the exact same. They didn't really change up anything. Like, they only had like minor, minor changes that I didn't really care about. Um, but everything was the same. They used a lot of like the same words, the same scenery, the same outfits. It was like, it was so good to the point where I want to watch it again. That's how good it was. It was like, I have no words. <laughs> I'm so impressed with that movie. And, um, Haley, what's her name? Haley Bailey? Okay, Hallie Bailey was amazing in the movie. She just made me feel like she was Ariel and it's crazy that so many people were against her being Ariel because she mostly she did amazing like to me she looks like Ariel she looks like a mermaid she looks like a princess she looks perfect to me anyways I'm using wipes usually I use my oat cleansing balm but for the sake of this video we'll just use some wipes and then some cleanser later but I am so ready to take this face off I have so much makeup on Oh, but yeah, guys, I definitely recommend watch the movie. It's so worth it. I had so much fun and it was just a life changing experience. Oh, I know I shouldn't be rubbing my eye right now, but it feels so good. Oh my gosh. 
The power of makeup. That's insane. Oh, whatever. Oh my gosh. Ew. I just hate the look of like nothing on my eyes and lips. Ew. Get off. You guys, I need to go cleanse my face and then I'll come back and we'll do my skincare routine. Okay, I'm back. The face is super squeaky clean and we got the hair clip back. We're about to do some skincare and chit chat a little bit. I'm still wearing my Little Mermaid shirt because I'm just, I'm, I'm not ready to move on yet. Like you guys, the movie was so good. I'm just like reenacting everything in my head and it was so magical and perfect and colorful and literally everything that I wanted it to be. So anyways, so usually when I'm not using a makeup wipe, I'll use my Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. I'll go ahead with a second cleanser. I just started using the Fenty Skin Jelly Oil Makeup Melting Cleanser. I really like the way that it smells and I really like the way that it feels and the way that it takes my makeup off. The only issue that I have is when you're getting out the product, you have to like pump it from the top here, like press it down. And usually I'll do like two pumps and nothing will come out. And on the third pump, a lot, a lot, a lot will come out. So I've wasted so much product. And you guys know, like I just got Fenty Skin PR. So you can see all that product, like that should have lasted me at least a few months. So I'm really upset about that. Maybe I just got like a bad bottle or maybe I did something wrong because I love Fenty Skin. I love Fenty Beauty. So like, I'm not going to shit talk this because I genuinely just love the brand so much. It's just this product isn't really working for me. I don't think I would repurchase this. On the other hand, they also sent me the sunscreen. Sunscreen. I will definitely be repurchasing the sunscreen. This is like my favorite sunscreen. Even if I'm not going out in the sun, I will use this sunscreen. Like look at the pump and it smells so good and it's purple. Oh my god. Anyways, let's get into this skincare routine. So I just start off with the I'm From Rice toner. Everything that I'm using is listed on my Amazon storefront down below if you want to try anything out. I've been using this and it feels so good on my skin. It's super moisturizing and super nice. But yeah, let's just get right into it. So yeah, you guys, we, you know, have quite a bit to talk about. And I guess I already touched base on the breakup quite a bit, actually. Um, so yeah, I just, I can't really believe that happened. Like, I can't believe I'm in this position right now where I'm not with that person anymore. It's just the weirdest thing. Like I said in my TikTok video, I've been like kind of holding on for the last six months. I don't know what was going on, but I was having all of these like negative thoughts about my partner, like negative, like intrusive thoughts, like basically telling me that like we're not right for each other, you know? And then I was just so confused. I was like, what is going on? Like, what is happening? Why am I getting all these negative thoughts? I thought it was like my anxiety taking over. My anxiety convincing me that he is not the one for me and we're not gonna work out in the future, but I don't know. Because of those negative thoughts, like, I guess like I wasn't being the best girlfriend in the last six months, so I think that caused us to like fight a lot. I was just kind of like doing my thing and like focusing on me and not really prioritizing our relationship, which I can understand why we would fight from that. So yeah, like I, that's kind of how it started. And you know, the last fight we had, I kind of just like blew up. You know, I'm not usually the type of person that gets mad. I actually don't get mad at all in any situation. If someone's like, mad at me or like yelling at me or anything like that like I remain calm I remain chill I try to be as understanding as I can but don't get me wrong I'll still stand up for myself and tell you like what I think happened you know my side of the story but I'll still be as understanding as I can this time I I couldn't I couldn't be calm you know last time that we fought I couldn't just take it I couldn't just sit there and take it like I just blew up you know like and I just I yelled and I screamed and I was so upset and uh, it's like so hard to talk about because I feel so guilty for like yelling at him like I hate yelling at people it's I felt like I couldn't control it and like that never really happens to me you know I never get upset like that but I just I lost it and I guess that's what happens when you keep things in for so long like you just blow up 
you know, and that's what happened to me. I'm using my um, snail mucin, by the way. I literally blew up. I, I was like having a panic attack at the same time because I was making a really tough decision based off emotion, but it wasn't. It was a decision that I knew that I should have made, you know, and I knew that I was going to make. I just really didn't want it to come to life and you know I just I couldn't handle it anymore maybe our personalities are really really different uh, there's just a lot of differences and maybe we're both really stubborn like I just couldn't do it anymore so I just packed my stuff it all happened so quick packed my stuff I'm like shaking at the same time and I just drove to my mom's house and I was like, I'm sorry, but you know, this is what we're doing now. And it just felt so weird. And I was like, so uncomfortable kind of, cause I was like, did I, did I make the wrong decision? Because for me, when I make a decision like that, it's like, I, I won't go back on my word because I'm just like, then I can't trust my own decisions ever. Like, I'm not going to go back on my word. If I leave, like I'm never coming back, you know, because I feel like I'm disrespecting myself if I if I do come back that you know so yeah I was just so confused I was going back and forth in my head I was like what did I do what did I do did I make the right decision and then I'm like no I didn't make the right decision and then I'm like yes I did make the right decision it was so difficult for me the first like week I was so confused I was like what did I do like what is what am I doing who am I what am I I, d I didn't even know you know and I I talked to him a few times after you know we're not on bad terms we're on good terms we both mutually agreed that for each other's mental health this was the right decision as much as we didn't want to you know like someone had to take the first step and it had to be me I think he needs to focus on himself and you know his career and I need to do the same as well I need to focus on myself my career my mental health my physical health I don't want to be dwelling on anything anymore I was dwelling on his emotions a lot like when he was upset instantly my entire day was ruined and vice versa and I don't like that like I just <laughs> I really don't like I just feel like that was a lot of negative energy coming maybe from the both of us you know no one's I'm not putting anyone at blame in this we both effed up so there's only so much that you can do right did I put eye cream on this eye I don't know I'm using my snail peptide eye cream from the same brand as the snail mucin but yeah so first week went by and I spent a lot of time with my mom and I spent a lot of time with my friends and kind of like you know researching my feelings as well because I don't like to have a problem lingering in my head it just stresses me out a lot I like to be really clear on my decisions and I like to solve problems as fast as I can I don't like to be stressed out it's it just gives me so much anxiety so I was trying to research my emotions like kind of like figuring out if I did the right thing or not and I just feel like after all of the research that I made and all all of the patterns that I noticed between us I, I slowly started to realize like okay I did make the right decision and it's so hard to say because I used to see this person every single day for the last year and a half and but in reality we never we we shared a lot of good memories in the beginning of our relationship but it just like I don't have any memories really of after like the first three months you know and it's because we have a lot of like differences you know he doesn't really like to do what I like to do and I'm not really crazy about what he likes to do and we try to compromise but whenever we would compromise like the other person wasn't really happy about it or didn't really show genuine interest and then someone would get offended like it just it just didn't work out you know and it sucks because I I think we were both just like really love bombed in the beginning and you know maybe that set like the bar high for the rest of the relationship I don't even know where we went wrong to be honest like where the where it stemmed from so it's just a whole lot of different things it's a whole lot of resentment as well like things that I did to hurt him in the beginning of our relationship things that he did to hurt me you know so those are th things that both of us haven't been able to let go of and it just 
results in disaster. Let's talk about what happened because it really doesn't matter at this point. It's gonna stay there. It's not gonna come back. There's nothing we can do about it. But the only thing that I can tell you is, number one, listen to your intuition. Listen to your gut. If, if you feel like something's wrong, try to understand it because that's what I did, you know? I feel like a lot of other females, males, would have stayed in this type of relationship hoping that it would get better someday, but it, it it's not going to, you know, unless you put in the work and I just feel like I have so much work that I need to put into myself before putting it into another person, you know, like, I feel like that's why I wasn't ready to put in all this work, like, I just, I have to fix myself first, you know. So, yeah, just really listen to your intuition. Um, don't, you know, when your partner is upset, just, just hear them out. Really listen to why they're upset and don't take everything too personally, you know? Like, we're all human beings. We all have our own, like, machines going on, you know? Not everything is about you. Not everything is about them. Like, we're all different individuals and in a relationship you have to learn to be your own person and if you can't find that balance even if you try and it doesn't feel like you have your own personality then you need to work on that because I feel like I lost myself a little bit you know I, I gained so much weight I gained so much weight I was just getting really insecure like I would watch myself in my videos and like why am I not the bad bitch that I used to be like I'm just not giving off bad bitch energy and I'm like that's not what I want I like I want my bad bitch energy back you know and there's just so many things like I just felt like I was losing myself and sometimes I would just wake up and like not want to do anything for some reason like I was depressed you know and I can't really get to the root of it but now like I do feel a lot better I'm waking up with a lot more motivation a lot more clarity about my life I would I used to wake up with like so much confusion like I didn't know if today we were gonna fight or not fight you know and I just wanted to avoid a fight that's all that I wanted just to avoid a fight and um now like I I feel better I know that I'm not going to get into a fight with anyone anytime soon I'm you know some of my friends are not the best of friends right now especially when I need them the most but it's like I don't really care anymore like I'm not I'm not here to fight people like if they don't want to act a certain way then that's okay it's one thing to communicate but I'm not gonna fight anyone or have resentment towards them I just don't want that feeling anymore it's not worth it to me I'd rather focus on myself and just be happy and whatever whoever comes comes and whoever goes goes that's re the reality of it as long as I have my family like I'm good to be honest I'm good so yeah I'm just with my mom now and it's I feel really good here like waking up like going to sleep and not being super anxious at night is really nice because I used to be super anxious going to bed and it's just because like my mom's here and I'm there you know so this is just a lot easier for me mentally I'm still gonna be looking for my own place I'm just waiting to find like the perfect one I'm not gonna rush into anything I really don't have to um so I'm just going to wait for the right one and then we're gonna start a new journey together and yeah if you guys have like any questions at all let me know I'd love to like talk more about this stuff. I just feel like I've learned so much. So I'm so happy to like share that information with you guys because why not? Like if I'm going to figure something out, like I want you guys to figure it out too. It's just at the end of the day, it's like all the same. You know, a lot of us go through the same thing. So like, let's just all deal with it together, you know? So anyways, on a positive note, I have a lot planned. I have... I literally got back from the movies and I had so much work that I had to work on like just brand deals and scripts and stuff like that and negotiating and all the good stuff which I didn't really have I just feel like everything is like coming into my life now which makes sense because 
once you have to sacrifice something you will also gain something so keep that in mind if you ever have to sacrifice anything my camera is overheating i don't want it to die on you guys so thank you so much for watching today's video this was just a little life update for you i'll definitely get more into it later on i have a clothing haul coming up a hello kitty shopping hunt cut coming up oh my god hello kitty shopping hunt coming up and just so many more things let me know if you want the weekly vlogs back i wasn't sure if you guys really like those because ever since i started posting those my views started to go down so you guys let me know what kind of content you like i'm always happy to film what you like regardless of what it is i love filming it so it's all good you guys just let me know anyways if you didn't already make sure you hit that subscribe button leave a comment and leave a thumbs up as well also don't forget to turn on your post notifications so you never miss when i post i love you bye